everybody, this is Jean. I'm on my vacation and I'm spending time in my daughter's house and so I have very few materials to work with <laughs> and I like to play and I made a wonderful junk journal at my friend's house when I was there just from her um, mail that I found in a bag of stuff she was clearing out of her drawers to throw in the trash. So I took it and I said, I'm going through this and I'm going to make something and I made a really fun journal which I didn't get a chance to make a video of but I'm going back so I will then. But anyway, so when I was here I was going through boxes that I had left when I made the move and there were so many pictures that I had to go through that um, I was sorting through and throwing out pictures and, and getting rid of all the um, all the uh, uh, negatives and, and all that and I had all these these envelopes and I thought oh I wonder if I could make a um, make a little journal out of the envelopes and so this is what I did with ones that were all similar sized and uh, so anyway it kind of turned out okay they have nice big pockets they have really deep pockets and I just made them like I used like the regular envelopes, gluing the two backs together and sliding them into a third, making and then just kind of gluing everything together. And you know, it works out kind of nice. And I've got all kinds of little pockets. And I just was kind of playing with this a little bit, trying to see how to cover up things. And I wanted to do more of an art journal. And so as I say, these are the very fledgling, this is the basic one. We had all these little bags for individual negatives that somebody made enlargements from. So anyway, so I was just kind of playing with that and um, I ended up, I made this one and I made another one and it, this one I, um, Work, have been working on for two days and what I did is I, I used all these pictures that I was going to throw away because I thought wow uh, these pictures are all so blurry and they're so awful and I you know there's triple triple um, uh, pictures of everything and he took two or three pictures of the same thing and they're all blurry this was my father-in-law worst cameraman in the world because he didn't have good vision so so this is the book um, this is so I I woke up in the middle of the night after I started working on this book and I thought, why, maybe those pictures aren't blurry, maybe they're just like a soft focus and they might make good journal cards. So I don't know if anybody else would ever do this, but I, I did it. <laughs> and uh, I ended up having to make a cover for it because as you can see, they're all different sizes. These are the leftover ones. These were all the right side pretty much the same size but these were all different and uh, so I was just throwing this book together but these are some of the this is um, this is kind of what I was doing here and I've got uh, I cut out this these were dolls on my mother-in-law's dresser they were you know big fans of that and uh, these are some of the pictures that he took and look what cute little journal cards these make now, I don't know if this is going to, you're not going to even think it's in focus, but it's actually a very soft, blurry focus, but blank backs that you can write on. So that's perfect. And uh, after I made this book, my daughter said she wanted it because it was all pictures from areas that she remembered from their home, which of course right now is no longer there. I mean, no longer belongs to the family. But anyway, um, some of them I cut and some of them I didn't. But um, they all make great journal cards. I'm not having to do this one-handed because I don't have anything set up. So, let me see if I can slip that back in. Well, I will go on on this one. Try not to pull anything out too much. I wanted to do something with the negatives because, so I made little pockets just on one page with negatives 
but hey, what else can you do with negatives? I even looked it up on Instagram. Can't do much of anything with negatives. So this is another page. We've got nice pockets here. There's, there's one of those little plastic bags. And then I glued something over it because I really didn't like the writing on it. And then I didn't like what I glued over it, so I glued a picture over it. And here's one of the little dolls that I had to cut out when I trimmed the book. <laughs> so I kept that. So anyway, and then this one has a lot of part, has a lot of soft focus pictures to write on. And I suspect my daughter will not journal in hit this, but she definitely wanted it and she wanted to keep it. And the nice thing about this is the pages are so, the, the pockets are so big that you can really put a lot of stuff in those pockets. But they do slide around a lot right now. They're not nice little tucks. And this is another page. And I was trying to make it a little artistic here with, um, I used some washi here. To, it was very hard. I didn't have any paints to cover up. Everything had to be covered up, all the writing for me, just to make it look halfway decent. Uh, this one, I found, um, I found a little bit of paint, but it'll only paint on white. It won't cover over anything. But um, these are little bubble, bubble stickers, and they're plastic. And I put those on in this. This is my favorite page here. <laughs> this is before I decided about the pictures. And I started with this, I found these little stickers, and then I found this. Uh, I cut this off of a side of a picture. It was a babe, somebody's baby picture and announcement. So I cut that off. And I like the black paper here. And I wrote on it, Journal Created, because I did have a white pencil, but I didn't have any other, anything else to write with. And then this page, I thought turned out kind of nice, very fun. And uh, I opened it up there. Pocket here, and a pocket there. And then this page turned out pretty nice. Now, it has a nice quote, it has a nice page, but to me it's kind of boring because it doesn't have any sentimental meaning for us. So I'm almost thinking about covering the quote with um, one of the larger pictures, maybe one that's really in focus. And this page here, uh, if you turn it this way, there's some of the tulips that he grew. My father-in-law was a big gardener. And I found this. Now I didn't, I just put, put it on there. And if it wears away, it wears away. I'm, I don't think I'm going to glue, when I put the glue on it, it, the background comes up through it and then you can see it. So I put another piece over it. So I don't think I'm going to uh, mod podge it down so it may not last. But that's just how it is. It just has to be, you have to be careful with it a little bit. Um, then I found some markers in her drawer. So I was able to cover up some writing with markers. And uh, I, he was always very clever about doing little things like this. And that was his dog, which none of us liked. Because he was so over the top with the dog. The dog was fine. There was nothing wrong with the little dog. He was very cute. Coco was a sweet little dog. But, uh, so I didn't want to include too many pictures of Coco because I didn't want to become a book about Coco even though there were a lot of pictures. And that's um, his Clematis. These pictures all mean something to us. This is something he painted on the side of his barn. And, um, some more pictures here. I tucked in. I had these little journal cards. So I tucked those in. A couple of those. And I finally got a little creative here. And I 
covered up, these are all torn pictures and I covered it all up, all the writing on this really bright, bright yellow one. And it's strong. It was a very heavy cardboard um, picture holder. So I felt like I could use that. And um, then I painted it some different paints and splattered. There's one of their cats. And I don't, um, the last cat he had was named Chicago, but I don't think that was Chicago. And then there's some more tulips that he planted. And then this, of course, is a pocket. And I already noticed that I closed it too soon, so I have to make a little repair there. But anyway, I thought that was page was kind of fun. It was fun for me to do. And this is the thing. I, oh, see, that's the bright yellow, but it had all kinds of red and blue writing on it. So anyway, so um, I just, I, I was tired and I just slapped this page. This is the last page together. I was just covering up all the, the garbage that had splattered and, you know, didn't look right. So anyway, I just covered that up and that's, there's two pictures there. And I was just keeping busy and having fun and playing and my daughter liked it and she wants to keep it. So I'm like, okay, well, I love if somebody wants it. Maybe not for journaling, but they, they wanted to keep it in. There's plenty of room that she can tuck in other things or other pictures that she likes. And then she can keep this book just as her Papo's book. Oh, I mean, Papap. Papap was my father-in-law. Papo was my husband. So anyway, I like, I like, um, since I'm not taking it home, I'm going to have to do some more embellishments um, before I leave. The things that I kind of planned to do when I took it home. But uh, she has gel pens that I gave her so she can write on this, these pages too. And I'll put in some uh, regular, I'll fold in some of these along with it. But anyway, that's it for today. And I finally got another video in. Bye-bye. <laughs>